measuring tools that we use at the workshop. So let's start with micrometers. This is an outside micrometer. Outside micrometer it is used to measure outside measurement or yeah, it is used to take outside measurement. It has the measuring scale on it, so when you take your measurement, you can read it here. This one is a small one, and we have bigger ones too. So this is an outside micrometer. And we have the inside micrometer for taking inside measurements. This is an inside micrometer. It also has a measuring scale on it, so when you are taking measurement, you can read it directly on it. So this is an inside uh, micrometer. It comes in different sizes. This is a small one, and this is a big one. That we have other sizes too and this one is the index micrometer index micrometer is used to measure this is to it is used to take in-depth measurements in-depth measurements so it also has the measuring scale on it so when you are taking measurements you can read it you can read it directly on the micrometer then we have a dial indicator. This is a dial indicator. A dial indicator. And a dial indicator comes with a magnetic base. This is a magnetic base. So you fix the dial indicator over here, over here, so that you use it to take your measurement. You fix this one over here so that you use it to take your measurement. It has the readings on it. So when you are doing when you are taking measurement, you read it from this this screen. Then we have this is a vena caliper. It is used to take inside and outside measurements, inside and outside measurements, or internal or external measurements. It has the measuring scale on it, so when you are taking measurement, you can read it directly on the vena caliper. Then this is outside caliper. It is used to take outside measurement or external measurements. And then this is inside caliper. It is used to take internal measurements. Inside caliper and outside caliper it doesn't have uh, any measuring scale on it. So after taking your measurement, you have to use the steel rule to indicate the correct readings on the steel rule. Then we have the filler gauge. This is a filler gauge, like a leaflet, like a leaflet object. The filler gauge is used to measure gaps, tiny gaps between two points. So this is the filler gauge. This is how a filler gauge looks like. Then we have the thread gauge. This is a thread gauge. A thread gauge used to measure the pitch of a screw thread. So this is a thread gauge, a thread gauge. Then we have a tri-square. This is a tri-square. A tri-square is used to measure or check 90 degrees of an object. You see the way it is shaped in a 90 degrees form. So it is used to check 90 degrees of an object. It has a measuring scale on it so you can use to also take readings. Then we have the steel rule. This is a steel rule for taking measurements, whether it is length or distance. So this is a steel rule. It has a measuring scale on it. So after me taking your measurement, you can directly read it on the steel rule. The steel rule can also be used in drawing when you are doing drawing you can also use the steel rule to aid in your straight lines and when you are also doing marking out on the on a plate you can you can use the steel rule to mark your your straight line then we have tape measure this is a tape measure this is a tape measure it is also used to measure distance or length of an object it has the reading the really me the measuring scale on it it has the measuring scale on it so you can directly read it from here it normally comes in uh, centimeters at the bottom at the bottom and then inches at the top 
So we have centimeters at the bottom, centimeters at the bottom, and then inches at the top. So these are some of the basic tools, basic measuring tools that we use at the workshop. We have the outside and inside micrometer, we have the in-depth micrometer, we have the steel rule, we have the tape measure, the the tri square, the vernacular caliper, we have the inside and outside calipers, and then we have the dial indicator. These are the basic tools that we use at the workshop. Thank you very much for watching this video.